I'm okay, always if, ready. If you're, she says that every time. I'm always ready. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Lynn and Scraps <laughs> here. <laughs> My name is Molly. I'm Kathy. And we are so glad to be back. We're back a little sooner than last time. Last time we were gone you know, for a, a year. <laughs> two years. 19 years. Something like that was forever. Feel but uh, tired. Anyway, Kathy, mm -hmm. I don't even know where to start today. I know. I feel like um, I'm, I'm oh, getting no. a little bit back to normal, which is good. I got my pedicure and oh. my haircut. And Your hair looked pretty thin. Started stitching a little bit like crazy uh -huh. and getting some things finished up. So a little bit back to normal and uh -huh. um, did a little cleaning. The dust here in El Paso just drives me insane, but you uh -huh. know, getting Idiot. used to that too. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I went to the doctor for my allergies the other day. Kathy, nice young man, tells me, he said, you know, you need to buy local honey. Oh, yeah. Because that, that way you'll get antibiotics. And I, I said, oh, that. that's a good idea. He says, yeah, yeah. my daughters still have their allergies. And I'm thinking, so I'm. So you don't doesn't work, honey. <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> kind of thing. But anyway, you go to the pet store and get the local honey. That's what he told me. Go to the pet mm -hmm. barn. Mm -hmm. what he, pet barn. Yep. Okay. Honey. So oh, we've been busy. We have. We have been busy. You know, I came over here with all my stuff. Mm -hmm. Initially, Definitely. when Molly and I were talking, it was like, "What are we? What are we going to show?" I'm like, well, I have something that I want to show that is. Oh, I know, Molly. It's, it's beyond, beyond, beyond. Does it make you want to have another birthday? No, but oh. I'd like to get presents. <laughs> but uh, Ka Kathy, it was mailed to Kathy's house. Yes. Luckily, I didn't keep all her mail while she was out of town, even though I wanted to. You know, Color well, and Cotton Club was you, coming in. All you have to tell them the whole story, though. I had the wishing thorn label so I, on the you know, picture, and I'm like, it's addressed to Molly, but mailed to me. So she I'm calls me over there. Box. So I go over there, and I'm going to start with this. Okay, y'all. Um, yeah, let's start with that, because it's a fun one. Burgett from The Wishing Thorn. Mm -hmm. And the good news about The Wishing Thorn is I have heard uh, mm -hmm. many of you floss tubers over the last couple of weeks, uh, Brenda and Laura, mm -hmm. you know, the serial starter, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of different people, saltwater stitchers, a lot of a lot of people mentioning how much they like Burgett's samples. Well, as a matter of fact, I on. stitched a couple of uh, Burgett's. One was a model, um, and then I also beautiful. stitched Jane, yep, but she went out of her way. Look at this piece. For my birthday, Isn't oh my God, awesome? she... Here's a sampler that she designed. I'm going to start crying, Kathy. I know. That was so sweet. So when I go to Kathy's house, I think. I was, was like, a, I have I have a box here. I was speechless to say the way. It I mean, has I, your name on it. But I was absolutely speechless. But anyway, <laughs> this beautiful special edition sampler. Yeah. And of course, it says wrought by Molly in the year 2023. I better get busy. Um, now, you can put your name in it. Of course, she's got the alphabet in there and all. Right. But isn't that... Well, now she did. She a did. Beautiful sample. She did. Um, she did reach out to me. Her and I talked on the phone, and you know, no, Molly was going to start Mary Barr from the Wishing Thorn, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. And she said, "Don't let Molly start that one." I was like, "Okay." She goes, "I got something I'm going to send." I was like, "Okay." And then she sent me a sneak peek of the colors, and I was like, "These are right up Wait, do you see the Molly's threads? alley." Yeah, and I just want to show you, she also, because she knows me and my blues, yeah. she also pictured it, what it would look like. I don't know if I'm getting good light on that. The teal. As if, if I did it on a teal mm -hmm. or a blue, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. However, my good friend Kathy came over today, and I sat her down, and we did a floss toss. Yeah. Because not only did she do that chart. Kathy, I see your problem. I keep leaving out. See? Uh, we hot. switched places switched. today. Yeah. So I could smoosh Kathy where she's saying, in the... Where's Kathy? She always goes like this. Halfway, halfway through the thing, she's like this. <laughs> Like there's Kathy. But anyway, but look at the colors <laughs> yes. of floss that she sent. It's, Wait, let me They're beautiful. The they're just gorgeous. They're gorgeous. And yeah. um, you know, I'm an Ada stitcher and I stitch yeah. with mostly DMC. I do use weeks and you know, general arts and a few things like that. And I'll, um but these are oh, silk. Gotta get the gold in there. These are silk. Yes. She sent her silk. So she I am Forget sent silk and she um, sent me a piece I mean, of uh, dyed, you know the uh, silk ribbon, silk ribbon, the rayon mm -hmm. ribbon, and then there's even chronic. So, Burgett, if you're watching this, I I wished you were here. See I just, well, we're gonna tag her. We're oh my god, yeah. I just I I told Kathy now I was raised Catholic and I said one of the prayers we used to say at the church, please Lord forgive me I'm not worthy but only say the word and I shall be healed. I am not worthy, but. I love this pattern. It is so. Oh, don't show the chart. Yeah. Okay. 
but uh, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Maui's sampler. And at first, I thought those were bees on the edge, but they're beautiful little flowers. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's got little animals. Y'all know how much I love animals and all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then what Kathy did today, I showed her all my the stash choices. Of, mm -hmm. The stash of fabric we have. And uh, look how pretty. So Kathy picked out the color that she yeah. thinks is going to be the prettiest. Yeah. And, it's and I'm doing a beautiful. horrible job showing the threads, but. Uh, it's going to be beautiful. Gonna be and this fabric pretty. is uh, <coughs> a fiber on a whim. Fiber on a whim hazelwood. Mm -hmm. Now, when you see it, Kathy wants me to actually do some like side darker. that's more. Um, I like the darker. Muddly, yeah, muddly. Modeled. And mm -hmm. I think that's going to be beautiful. So between Burgett and Kathy, I'm like. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm just first big sampler. And I'm going to do floss drops out of that picture. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? You can, you can gonna definitely gonna scrap that up a I'm little bit. Floss and, drop. Okay, yeah. Kathy, I, that's my <clears throat> What have you got? <laughs> Listen to me. I'm so happy I could scream. feel kind of bad now. <laughs> None of mine is as good. Oh, yes, it is. Wait till you see well, some of the stuff she brought. I brought with, um, First of all, there's always a story. You know, I always start with that. There's always a story, and there is. So about a year ago, and I did look about a year ago, I was in desperate search of this book. <clears throat> and it's out of print. I can't get it anymore, and I encourage you all to go to the secondhand market <clears throat> and try to get your hands on it that way. So at the end of the day, I had... Vicki Noel, she's one of the stitchers and in one of the stitchers group, uh, she actually reached out to the author, which is Anna Lee Ferguson, um, who realized that this book is so difficult to get a hold of and how many needleworkers were trying to get their hands on it once someone posted it on Facebook, a finished sampler. Um, and it was absolutely beautiful, teeny tiny. <clears throat> and of course, I went nuts. Well, she got really lucky. And was able to find one right away. I, on the other hand, it took me a little while. But in the meantime, Anna Lee, who's one of the authors and the and the gal that actually wrote the book, Anna Lee Ferguson um, wrote the book Traditional Needlework and Miniatures. Um, she sent Vicky one of her graphs of a sampler, and so I had a head start on this from about a year ago, and it was nagging at me. It's like get it done, get it done. I had half of it done. I've been posting my work on my Instagram. Well, I finished it. Now, I brought it over in the frame that I was thinking about using. <clears throat> but after chatting here with Molly, um, I don't know that I'm going to do it in this frame other than if I change some things. Because I like funky, too. Uh -huh. I like I funky, funky. I like primitive. I like pretty. So I'm kind of all over the map on it. But So here is my finish, Baltimore piece and is it focusing good do you think should I pull it back a little there bit there you go yeah and this is stitched on 56 60 and here's palm. my hand so when yeah. you say miniature it would fit it's in the tiny. palm of my hand um it's tiny like I said I stitched this on and it, you can even see the actual pattern that Vicki Noel sent me and she felt so bad that she got her book um, this is Lakeside Vintage Porcelain, and it's 50, actually I lied, it's 5260 count. So that's what I, now whether or not I leave it in that frame, I don't know. And so I will tell you that, um, the that fill in, on thread. the fill in of the top, there's four sections to totally fill in. Mm -hmm. That I did in just a, Actually, I did it in a continental stitch. You could do it in a 10 stitch, but I like the, the way that fills for the continental, which is a needlework term. Um, and But the rest of it is cross stitch with one strand of silks that Vicki also sent me. She's such a sweetheart. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. whether or not I leave it in this frame, the reason I debate it, this is a hog river frame that I love hog river, love polka dots. But I'm also thinking I could do a flower pot here, a flower pot there with the stem of flowers going up to kind of mirror the what's going on here. Um, and I changed the bird to the blackbird because I, I love blackbirds. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I like that. Ravens. Mm -hmm. I just think they're cool. So that is my finish. And like I said, whether or not I keep it in there, I don't know. Um, I can punch this out. And I can 
got some options to what I want to do with it as far as the frame. Yeah, it's just It's just sweet. It's very sweet. It's, it's done. pretty. It's sweet. It's, it's done. It's done. Done. And like I said, yeah, they're it's not. Done. It's done. And I'm going to probably get my hands on another uh, pattern in the book just because there's a beautiful Adam and Eve one in there. But again, the book's name, Traditional Needlework in Miniatures, Classic Designs. Um, the author is Anna Lee Ferguson. You're going to have to search the secondary market for it. Um, I even searched, I don't know, a day or two ago, and I, I couldn't even find it anywhere. So, mm -hmm. you know, but it's out there, and patience is a virtue when it comes to this stuff. So mm -hmm. that is what I finished. I would think anybody that can stitch on 52 count linen mm -hmm. has patience. Yeah. I would think that would be a thing. Who okay. said we have patience to stitch on little teeny, teeny, tiny threads and then our husbands drive us crazy? <laughs> what is that Okay, work? on that happy note, this was, a, I only had a few stitches left, you know, to finish Your, this one this, I from love last time. Here. Let me hold it. And this box. is the Brenda Gervais um, pullback, pullback, um, maker and mender pattern. And Look at I those colors. Love it. I just so love pretty. that. So it's Bender Gervais, Maker and Mender. And um, let me tell you, one of the things that I was saying is um, you heard me say I was raised Catholic. Well, you know, I'm a woman of faith, but, you know, not not actually a churchgoer too much, mm -hmm. but, he, you know, he's, he's my buddy, you know, kind of thing. Well, I did this as my January uh, blessing sampler. Oh. Because I had heard somewhere where if you finish, start and finish a sampler in January, You'll have blessings all year. Well, let me tell you, when I got that birthday present, Kathy brought oh. me home some beautiful things. I got my birthday present. I had a wonderful birthday with my family. And then uh, Burgett sent me that pattern. I'm like, I'm doing another sample next year. Another blessing sample. I am doing another one next year because this was uh, get right on that. This was one of my favorites. <laughs> it's very pretty. It is. But where's your frame? Oh, so oh. I go to, a, um, I belong to a couple of different clubs here in um, El Paso. And one of them is the West Side Welcome Club. If you're from El Paso, Las Cruces, anywhere around here, and you don't know about the West Side Welcome Club, it is a group of over 200 women. You got a guy. But uh, anyway, of the friendliest, most fun ladies. And if you're interested in anything, there's going to be a couple of other ladies interested in stuff with you and all. Well, anyway, we went to a lunch the other day. The lady who was in charge of table decorations, somebody teased about how fast I talk. I need to slow down. But, uh, and so her table decorations, she had a little wooden easel on the table, and she had frames, and then on the frame, she had, like, Valentine ribbon hanging down or something, you know, a big bow with Valentine ribbon. It's kind of ribbons. a neat way to use your frames. Yeah. Yeah. So this I frame, mean, I don't know if you can see the beading on there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can see it. Was on my table. Now, I have to tell you, I helped put out the decorations, so, of course, was, this one was on my table. But, um, so you bought tickets. I'm bringing over to get the thing. Perfect. And so you got five tickets for $2.00. If you win them. Well, stuff was all hot glued to this thing. So I thought, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything with it. But for $2 and a prayer, I might win that perfect. frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I won the frame. And um, it's going to be perfect. It's perfect. It's the color. Am I anywhere close? Can't see this. Yeah, you're good. It's going to be perfect. It's going to look really nice. $2. Yeah. $2. Yeah. So anyway, so I just heated up all the <laughs> areas that had that glitter hot glue on it and all. Mm -hmm. Cleaned it off and all. So for $2... I got myself a nice looking older frame and I love it. So it's going to be perfect for that. Thank you for reminding me about yeah. the frame. Yeah. Okay. Can I go to my next finish? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Did you finish your snowflakes? Not the beading. Oh, not but the beading. I, okay. I did wash it. So it okay. did shrink a little. So I'm happy. Yeah. But I'm, uh, several people asked me yes. what the name of this on was. Christmas Day. It's on Christmas Day. It was a mystery sampler from the uh, Joy. What is it? The Gift of Stitching. Gift of Stitching. Magazines okay. from 2010. And it took four different issues because it was broken into, you know, parts. Different parts. And all. But you can see they did it in an orangish coppery mm -hmm. color and the white and all. So this was my finish on this. I'm probably sick and tired of seeing this thing. But um, oh, anyway, so I'm so finally finished. Pretty. All the snowflakes are done. So the only thing that's left is the beading. Mm -hmm. It was done on Rustico um, yeah. 14 count linen. I'm nowhere in front of the thing. Here. So you can see how holy, you know, how big yeah, that, it's got some air see my hand in it. It's got yeah. some air in there. So I washed it and uh, so it would shrink up before I did the beading. Yeah. So now I'm ready to do the beading. But I just love how it came out. But I just used two colors, well, three, I guess, of DMC, blanc and then a uh, blank white. 
and then uh, two the different variegated right colors. Up. Yeah, and all. Yeah. So very cool. Love it. So very that was cool. my other finish. And I am a big fan of I Heard the Bells. I love it. I the love story it. of when he wrote that song mm -hmm. is just, if you get a chance to, in fact, you know what? There was a movie put a, out at they, Christmas. They had a movie. Last Did year. you see it? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to see it because everywhere where it was playing was like miles and miles away. So I'm right. sure eventually. I, I'm hoping it's going to come on. It'll come out. But some, the story of the when he wrote that song or that poem and then put to, eventually mm -hmm. put the song. So that was awesome. one of my finishes. Yep. I did finish a couple of other little uh, Valentine things I showed last time, and mm -hmm. also I'm happy with those. Okay, then I'm off. My next things are whips, and acts of kindness, and haul. What you got? I now? got I got a couple whips. Um, for one thing, I want to talk about Carol Selbach Stitcher. She was talking about old pieces, that like your first sampler, your first. And I'm loving seeing your pieces. Uh, and I have to say, um, I, I I was looking at what was my first sampler. I think it was the cran a cranberry sampler by Designs by Trisha. And if I recall, I actually stitched it twice. I stitched it on an Ada, and then I stitched it on a Glen she linen was the popular available linen at the time. But I forgot that I had this. Um, so this bell pole is stitched over one. And at the time, we had a spare bedroom. I was going to make, um, you, I had an orientalish looking flare of design, if you will. I was going to make that spare bedroom. But you can see the year on that. So 1981, I stitched that over one. That was the beginning of my cross stitch. Okay, 1981. Yep. That's 42 years ago. So I was nine. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah. Kathy, this is st the stitch there work on these. There was in there. And I'm like, I was crazy nuts about cross stitch back then. But I, I'm not going to get rid of it. I, it's, oh, gosh, no. It's so pretty. And the colors are, the French knots in there are piled on. I don't know. If you can wisteria. see, the I would say the wisteria is oh. actually 3D. As maybe yeah. that's a good, good and shot. The peacock you can see. And the and So that was the one flowers of my at the first bottom. pieces that I ever stitched. And then... That had very mature taste at that time. Yeah, because back in 1980, wasn't that ducks, geese, bears, and boats? Yes, yeah. yes, even at that time. So this is what I, yeah, one of my very first pieces at 1981. Okay, 80, I don't know. 80, I'm not, was it 81, did I say? You said 81? Yeah, it was before I'm I had trying kids. to get the peacock to show yeah. the fineness of his And the cherry, feathers. the cherry, um, this one has cherry blossoms on it. Kathy, that is remarkable. And then this one was the boat. But, oh yeah, my gosh. so back in the day, that was one of my old, so yeah, um, she kind of, you know, triggered a couple of thoughts, like, what was my first sampler? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But anyway, this was definitely one of my first pieces that I ever stitched. That's so, beautiful. then, That's beautiful. Um, I'm going to show a couple pieces that I have finished a while back already. Um, just because everyone's talking about red and, you know, we got to. So I love this one. This is a Gigi. And this is Mademoiselle Viola Martini, 1876. Now you're all going to be mad at me because I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue what I stitched this on other than, I don't know. Look at the bottom. But I had some fabric. Isn't that a beautiful? It is. Looks, look at it all done. So pretty. Kathy, Those, that fabric is gorgeous. That little violet. It might be. It might be um, heroic. I didn't. I never. Oh, it them. could be. Yeah, it might be heroic. Oh, it could be because mm -hmm. uh, I have heroic and Ada. Yeah. It's got those casts. Obviously might be not heroic pretty like there. that, but. So isn't she? What it, the color of thread is a beautiful yeah. overdyed as well. Yeah. Mm. I didn't mark it. Sorry, peeps. You're going to have to, yeah. Pull from your stash. Pull from your stash. But I'll the violets shopping. on there, I just love the violets. So that's um, one of Gigi's. And that pattern, I'm pretty sure, is still available. Okay, watch out the keyboard. Yeah, okay, keyboard. Okay. And then I stitched this one. I don't know when I, because I didn't put a year on here either. But we're all talking about this one is actually uh, a K and B, and it's Kunst, 
Kristen Bigler or Beardwick. And I think I'm going to hold this up for a while, Kathy, because yeah. they asked that we hold it Because we're going to want a K&B. And, &B. and, and this is Souvenir. Boy, and you I can type that in. Yeah. So 2002. Kathy, that's beautiful, but wait till y'all... Uh. So this is the finished piece. And my frame, I love my frame. And I don't ask. <laughs> the color of I gray. I have no head. idea. I'm sure it was a Belsois thread silk on this one, but I could not tell you which what it was. So for those of you talking about red samplers, Kathy, that and is pretty. Just pretty, 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 pretty. And what would you guess the fabric is? I don't know. It's very modeled. Modeled. It is. It's so pretty. Um, the thread color is just mm -hmm. gorgeous. Oh my Good. gosh! So That's when do you think you finished? It was the pattern came out in two o two. I want to say maybe six, seven years ago. Because okay. I know that a friend of mine then stitched it too. Um, I was about to say that was 10 years ago. That was 20 years ago. Oh. <laughs> but then um, I bought this pattern fairly recently. It came while I was up in Wisconsin because this is this is by Sabine. And um, this is Mary Teresa St. Alban. And this is also, um, this is Sabine Tater, Teteria Gundacher. She published that in 2014. I love this one. And I think if you find, um, I think if you find the right red or teal to do a monochromatic on this one with the beautiful alphabets that are on there, it's, they're gorgeous. The alphabets are yeah, stunning. I'm just looking at this. Beautiful. You know, I, I bought that book. Get tired of it. Get oh, yeah, tell the me Bible. about the Bible. Mm -hmm. I actually used some letters out of it. Did you? Day. Isn't that fun? I, I was so to proud know that of myself. you have that. But these letters are, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, so at some point... And I'm looking at the, you know, it looks so little right here. It's big. But how it is, big is it's this thing? It's big. Uh, it's, well, this is in centimeters, and I don't know what the stitch count had. Yeah, I pulled it out, because I, I think I needed a, I'll have to do a full yard, and then cut it, cut it down. Because I don't want to show you the chart, but that yeah. was big on the back. Yeah. If that's it's that big. A, yeah. that's big. Okay. It's big. Big design. Yard. Okay. And then, you know, I... I always get ahead of myself, but I wanted to tell you all, speaking of the Baltimore samplers, um, and I saw this on Facebook, too. Someone had finished this one, the Wisdom Sampler. I believe this is this is uh, the, from the Vermilion designers, mm -hmm. and I think this is available through uh, Creative Poppy yet. But after I finished that one Baltimore sampler, this the tiny, tiny one, I thought, you know, this would be fun to do, too. Tiny. So wait, this is not a tiny sampler though. It's not a tiny, but if you stitched it on 56, 52, 60, or 60, it'd be tiny. Sorry guys, I gotta <laughs> grab it. Oh my god, the colors are exquisite. Yeah. It's pretty. That is very gorgeous. Yeah. So back just I, I have that sitting here, I kind of and if jumped see, ahead. It's... But I think that one is still available through uh, Creative Poppy. Oh, Kathy, that's, I'm going to have to get that. Yeah, that's stunning. I really like that one, too. That's stunning. Um, and then I have um, two whips, but if you want to go ahead, are you got some whips? I'll let you do your whips. Well, I have some I'm whips. I'm going to enjoy Just a few, because, I just because. I love this one. Well, doesn't that remind you of the viola? Okay, so you were saying something earlier about, oh. uh, you know, shopping or whatever. Yeah. I got so tickled. I've been on the internet on the internet, uh, looking for, um, at the Walmart, at the Walmart uh, looking for uh, new market releases because I don't oh, have yeah. enough oh, already. Oh, my gosh. Because, yeah, we don't have enough. So I came across this site, one of the stores, and they had listed market releases. Well, I go on there, and I was falling in love with everything I saw. And then I realized that was a 2020 video I was watching. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, it was all new to me. <laughs> so one of the things I bought from that, uh, so wait till funny. the new market stuff comes out. <laughs> you got two years to oh, catch okay. up with. Oh, two, two years. From um, <clears throat> Keepsakes, I think. Was it Keepsakes? Maybe. I think. Anyway, I don't remember where I got it. But anyway, uh, Look isn't that, that pretty? And a piece. I've seen that stitch numerous times. And it has a cat. And I don't think, yes. It has a cat. I don't think that would be a really hard one to stitch. Well, what I was going to tease is, I mean, which one? Kathy. Oh, yeah. Molly. <laughs> yeah. So, you see the difference. But anyway, isn't that beautiful? 
Now, I will tell oh, you, this is beautiful. at one time, I took a trip to Holland, to Sella, Holland, and there was a Stickmuster Museum in Sella, Deutschland, and I got to go to it. I haven't even taken a trip to the attic yet. Yeah, I know. you got to get her to the attic. We've got to get you to the attic. But, so this uh, reminded me of my visit to the museum, Stickmuster Museum, which is unfortunately no longer there. I don't know if somebody took it over, but it's not there yeah. anymore. It was oh. a cool place to go, but mm. very cool. Very, okay. very cool. Don't put that in your pile. Okay. No. <laughs> that goes in my pile. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so that was my first. One. Now I'm going to go back to whips real quick. <clears throat> okay. okay. This was one of the things that I had mentioned I was going to start. Yep. And it's going to get done in February. It's going to get finished. It's going to get, what are we on the 12th today? It's not going to time. Oh, it's a short month. Anyway, Plum yeah. Street Samplers and it's spring has sprung. And I love it. Now, when you look at there, the color of that robin looks way more pink on his chest. But I pulled the call for DMCs. I didn't have all the call for um, fancy, floss. fancy flosses over dyes. Mm -hmm. But I pulled, if I didn't have the over dye, I pulled the DMC. Mm -hmm. My robin doesn't have a pink breast. It's really, I love your color. But those are my colors. Yeah. So by accident, <clears throat> uh, you can hardly see the white snowflake. By accident. I'm, he's my color anyway, yeah, so uh, I like that's him. as far as I've gotten just in a day or I've been stitching him yep. in the last day or so. Uh, so spring has sprung, and then if you watched uh, Carol the Saltbox Stitcher, mm -hmm. she was doing the series because Plum Street Sampler yes. has. Uh, when you have the I have paper Hello out Summer, one, yeah, I have Hello Summer up there, there. yeah, and um, then they have Hello Spring, Hello right. Autumn, you know, Hello yeah. Winter or whatever. But this was spring has <laughs> sprung, and. Uh, while I loved it because of the soft springy colors, the colors of thread I pulled from their chart are actually going to be more everyday I like that color. So too. again, I didn't put the wording on that where it said hello summer. Oh yeah. I want to keep it out all the time. Now I'm challenged with do I want to do spring has sprung or do I want to do something or leave it off? Leave it off and Maybe I have an alphabet off. book. You know, I could do something. Yeah. But anyway, so that was one of my whips that I'm working on. Okay, now another whip. This won't take long. Hats off to Stitching Mommy. She has a wonderful floss too, but she also on Etsy, you know, has a store and um, sells charts. And one of the charts she did was the Temperature Quaker. You know, I like temperature charts. I'm thinking, who the heck comes to sit there and you know in El Paso? It's the same temperature every day. <laughs> okay, no, I'm kidding. But um, now if we were doing night temperatures, we'd be in the 20s. Yes. But if we do day it's, temperatures, it still we're in gets the colder. 60s. You know. At night. Anyway, so. She came out with a Quaker temperature chart. Okay, now you're talking my language. Yeah. So this is through the 9th of this, February. Yeah, the next, you know, that January is the first completed yeah. one. And then this was February so far. And you can see where I'm saying several days in a row with the same colors. Huh? So that's going to be a quickie. I'm three days behind on end. Okay, now, you know, I had mentioned I had done a chicken quilt. Yes. Kathy, I was going to say, can you see my chickens back there? And my chicken quilt. I love one of them chickens might have to come home with me. Isn't that those were cute little chickens I found? And of course I've got a little talavera plate and all that kind of stuff. So when I was talking about <laughs> these colors don't match that, but the feeling of fiesta to me or mm -hmm. feeling of you know happy. Happy, you know, sunshine. Yeah. So yeah. this is the uh flea market flowers from uh Laurie Holt. Sorry, I just printed on that's very okay. expensive paper, yeah. you know, see-through paper. Uh, anyway, so it's flea market flowers, and this is, you know, made some more progress. So I'm yeah. um, two thirds of the way, let's say. It's very, very pretty. I like it, and that's the what colors I are very on it. nice. I stalled on it last year. Yeah, but it's I'm coming back to along it though. Fine. Yeah, and I'm happy with it. I'm just hoping I find a frame for it. Okay, and you then, have to go to another coffee. Yeah, get lucky. <laughs> But uh, okay, the right and then one thing I'm a today's the 12th. I got another day, the 13th to finish the 12th and the 13th to finish this. It could happen. Yeah, it could happen. Uh, this is from uh, Kathy from Hands On Design, mm -hmm. and it's I love you a waffle lot. Isn't that darling? It's really cute. Now I'm only doing the top of the pillow. I'm not doing the bottom and the side right. band. But this is as far as I've gotten since last we talked. That's very cute. And it's cute. I just love it. It's very cute. So uh, that's going to be cheery, she, cheery. She, by the way, Molly mentioned this last, our last class too, as um, every year for her anniversary. She and her husband's she, anniversary. She anniversary? does a free 
I love you kind of a feel Valentine. chart. Valentine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was listening to another philosopher today. If you go back in her blog, I guess mm -hmm. you, I think she's done it for 13 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can go back and get 13. And they're all darling. Really cute. Simple. Yeah. That was, that was one of my finishes in January was that love, yeah. you know, Design. that she did and all. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my, after that, that was all my whips that I'm showing you today. That's not all my whips, but it's all the ones I'm showing you today. But anyway, so Kathy, do you want to show some more I things? got a couple whips here going on. Um, Molly and I laughed at this. I have this cool antique frame, and it's really beat up, and I love it. That is a beat up frame. But I'll frame. fix that. It's cute. I'll fix it. Because, ladies and gents. Oh, I love this. Um, I, had, I bought this pattern when I was at the attic. And w when I saw it, I saw it. It was stitched in red. Absolutely beautiful. And if you look at the words, um, it is finished on there. And I'm guessing that's what this is in that language. It is finished. I don't know. I, I need to look that up. But I have to say I started it on, I actually am working it on a, let me see if I've got the count here. Oh, I don't have the count here. This is 5662 uh, linen. And here is my, oh, here, sorry. She's going to look that up. I am, I am stitching it, and I apologize for the wrinkledness, in brown because I want it to look more like the old rugged cross. And um, I might do a darker, dark brown for the cross itself. And I just wanted the words to be more look, look at my words versus look at the red. While the red is absolutely beautiful, I think it's going to also look stunning in here, which is my old crummy frame. And I thought if I have put it by an old Bible or whatever, just for the Easter Lent season, it is finished to me. I think it looks really pretty in the brown. So keep an eye on that. I have to say, I, I without a doubt, was kind of second guessing <coughs> myself. But the more I look at the frame and in person, of course, it's always a little bit different. But the more I look at the frame, and I always want it framed really close, so hubby will have to cut it down a little bit. But I think um, I think it'll be pretty. I think it's be pretty. I and think I love the, the old rugged cross. That's what I cry every time I hear the old rugged yeah, cross. Uh, it's gonna be will beautiful. really look different than than on the red. And I apologize because I had the little note of what I was stitching the dumb stuff on. And oh, here it is, Lakeside Vintage Sand Dune, forty-five count. I like. I had to keep mine today. I'm telling you, she's good. Bad. God. Bad did you look it up for you? I did. Buy? It's uh, paid in full. Oh. It follows that Jesus cried to, and I can't pronounce the word. Yeah, I know. It's the word of finale. The idea, it is finished, it stands finished, and it will always be finished. Tell us, oh, I? Tell uh, us, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. But it is finished, um, paid in full. So, yeah, so Ooh. I'm going to, I just wanted the cross and that word, those words to stick out mm -hmm. for me a little bit more than. Um, the sampler red itself, but I think it's such a beautiful piece that, that it is. Well. And I love the color that yeah. you chose. It's going to be beautiful. And then um, back to this little sampler that I'm stitching the model for. This is so pretty. And I've got only five motifs left, and this will be completely done. But this is the model sampler for Dutch Treat Designs, which is owned by Claudia. Claudia is like the expert lady on Bristol's. This happens to be a Bristol sampler. And talking oh, to Claudia, course. we may have her on as like a little oh, I guest. Hope, I hope yeah. so. Yeah. Um, girls typically would stitch their Bristol samplers in red. But once they once they got really good at their red sampler, they kind of graduated then they could do colors. And you can see this one has some beautiful colors on there. Really, really like that one. And it's not as, the colors are coming off pretty bright on the TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that a TV? <laughs> it's a oh. monitor. <laughs> get, get with it, Kim. <laughs> um, they're more subtle. They're actually very they're subtle. They're beautiful. Yeah. Just so I can't share you the pattern or anything, but um, that is by Claudia. So keep an eye out on that. And, of course, the, the colors in that are absolutely beautiful that I'm using. Um, mm -hmm. Mostly classic color works on that one. Mm -hmm. it's, but, it's so well, pretty that in person. Is that, yeah. Um, what are those? Well, I, this, I'm going to start. I'm, oh. 
so I am actually going to be stitching another sample for Burgett, her patriotic one, which is going to be coming out in, in July. So she, I, when I was talking to her about Molly's secret surprise for her birthday, um, we talked about the one she's going to, she's still charting some other things. So that one is like next in line, but it's very patriotic, very red, white, and blue, dark blue, light blue, very pretty color. So I'll be doing that one for her. Ooh, so in the meantime, I got a little, between this one, I know this will be finished soon, my model for Claudia at Dutch Tree Design. Um, and if you haven't taken a look at her website, go to Claudia, Dutch Tree Design, beautiful patterns on her designs too. Um, this one, I showed this last time, this is um, uh, by Lori, Lori Ripley, uh, Rippy, the Prince of Peace. So I'm not a big, I'm actually not a fan at all. I don't even say I'm not a big fan. And this is my red that I chose. Whoa. Isn't that a beautiful red? Mm -hmm. Even on. It's showing a little orange on yeah, camera, but it is not. It's the most stunning. Yeah. Very red. pretty red. So Ugh. I pulled the threads, but I also then matched up to the Danish flower. Well, I'm going to just put it like this. Danish flower thread. So I only have to use one strand because this uh, happens to be uh, 32 count PTP Phoenix. So by doing 32 count over two will be uh, uh, 18. You don't do that often. No, but Danish flower thread. No. no. <laughs> Danish flower thread, you can get away with one strand over the two versus two over two because I, I I'm not a fan of two over two I know you could oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I know you can use a lane to and I'm so I'm so I you know the only thing that describes my stitching is I'm stupidly stupidly picky but There's that's why you word. end up with beautiful, beautiful, Still beautiful things. Still really picky about my stitches and how they lay. And I even, if if it doesn't look right on the back, I'll take it out. That's how anal I am. I about. have probably, I know I've told you all this story before, but I went to a stitch group here in El Paso recently. Sorry, Kathy, I'm jumping in on your story. You can jump in. But, uh, and I told them the story, It's which it's Nancy Waller, who is FaithWorks Designs. Yes. Uh, host this thing and there's several I mean dozens dozens of women from the El Paso area that go and stitch and all but I told them the story because everybody around me stitching on linen and here I am on my little Ada you know uh, 18 count at least but anyway uh, and I told them about when I first met Kathy because they were amazed that I you know oh, how lucky God. can I be to move in next I to somebody like Kathy going. and I said oh are you cross stitch so I gave her I have some here's some stuff I have and I gave her a little tube of linen and she went oh thank you thank you so much and then later when she learned I was going to cross stitch she goes Molly I have a present for you and she gave me back my Ada <laughs> <laughs> she's like you know but she was so sweet when she took it oh thank I, you I just but that I grew up basically let me look at what I started with back in 1981 a was point a tiny, on, tiny mm -hmm. over one stitch. Maybe mm -hmm. I didn't know. Had with power threads and everything. Yeah. Well, so I've gotten good. used to stitching on smaller counts to begin with. So mm -hmm. my sweet spot's 36, 38, 40 count. 40 not so much, but 30, mm -hmm. 35, 36. So, but she had this red, which is beautiful. And how can you pass that up for that pattern? It's going to be perfect. And then, I, like I said, I can't, bought, bought all the threads, called for, but I came home and I... Got them mixed up now with the flower thread and stitching that over one. And, oh, excuse me, one over two will be perfect. And while I was holding it up, you, it was like you could hardly see the thread. I'm trying to hold it a direction to where yeah. those threads are enough contrast on yeah. that red. It's going to be gonna, stunning. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be stunning. So she's she's not on Etsy. I might have misspoke oh. last time. You have to look her up. The Prince of Peace, Lori Rippey, R-I-P-P-E-Y. She's got a couple designs out there. There's another one that I think I might grab. Mm. Um, so, yeah, if I want to check her out. Yeah, really. It's beautiful. I know, isn't it? And it's just modeled mm. enough to be yeah. textural. Just modeled. Yeah. Just modeled. Here, I'll open it but up. But not distracting. Model anything. enough to be, yeah. It's coming out way more tomato yeah. than it is. I don't know. It or is. it's coming bright. It's not yeah, that. It's, no, it's the it's most gorgeous that, maraschino cherry. Yeah, rich, not that eccentric red. red. It's just gorgeous. 
so bad. It's Santa's velvet coat. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's yeah. a beautiful yeah. velvet red. That's a perfect. Like a velvet red. So that, I, I probably will start that because it's not a real big one, but it's one that I can probably sneak in between this model and then the next model that I'm going to stitch on. So. Okay. That's kind of it for me. I brought a couple patterns to share. Um, do you want me to do this now, or do you want to? Well, I have a couple. Your, I have well, a little bitty. I have a little bitty bit of haul. You go right well, ahead. Well, you don't always like. You have the good stuff, so I want to, you know, ta-da, end on you. So I just want to go over a couple of things I bought recently. Y'all probably know all about these, and you're like, girl, where have you been? But you know, I use a friction, a friction, friction, friction pen to write with that you can, you know, you can erase with this eraser. It's just heat. That erases with it, but it's oh, that's uh, cool. I don't know that I know about. Oh that. well, you need to know. You might have one okay, up on it's me. F R I X I O N friction, you know, pen. Well, I just found out they do highlighters. So from uh, oh, I cool. bought it from One Two Three Stitch. Comes in a pack of multiple colors, but it's the same thing. You can highlight your chart and then just erase it when you're through, or if you made a mistake or frog or whatever. But uh, so it comes in a set of three. So I have enjoyed having highlighters, you know, instead of dark things. And then another thing, oh, I'm oh, I think I'm going to get this. I've got to do a better job of knowing people things. I'm going to tell you it was the Cornhusker State Stitchers. It's a mom and daughter. Cutest little floss tubers in the whole world. I love them. And they just, they, you can tell they just like each other. They're having so much fun with their floss tube. Well, they've started a store. I didn't get this at their store. I had an order in with 123 Stitch and I just added it on their thing. But it's a highlighted guide and all it is is this package was three little pieces of self clean or static clean um, yellow transparency, but I did buy the one that was magnetic. Oh, nice! It ain't that magnetic. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna take these magnets off and put magnets on or something. I don't know okay. if I'm doing. Can I be doing it wrong? I don't know. But anyway, um, but what I love is if you can see, it really you just slide it around. Yeah. But these that are the static clean ones. The reason they're not in this package is because they're on three of my stands. Oh. with my charts. But I love just being able to move that highlighter. I just slide it. Because I'm pretty good about, you know, I can figure out where I am on a chart just looking up occasionally. Right. But sometimes when a, a chart repeats itself a lot, which one am I on now? So I just put that highlighter over, you know, that section yeah. and, and you slide around. And yeah. it is static clean. It just sticks mm -hmm. on there. So I have fallen in love with those. So those two new tools for me were, I like them, you know. So what I have left is random acts of kindness. Well, you go right ahead. Well, yeah. anyway. Yeah. So when I went to the Nancy's, what is the name of that group? Cross Stitch Sal or something? Can, can, I don't know. It's a cute little group. Nancy Waller here in El Paso. Oh. Um, God, Did I, they do El Paso strong with that? Yeah, but it's something. I don't yeah. know. Anyway, I'll but put it in the I'll put it in the notes. Okay. But if you're anywhere near El Paso, and she's doing a retreat coming up in uh, mm -hmm. March, I'm going to. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Um, so anyway, met some lovely ladies there. Well, sitting a catty corner from me was a lady named Susan, who uh, I don't want to say her last name because I don't want you know she didn't give me permission to. But Susan is a consummate stitcher. Oh my God, her stitching is beautiful. The first time we met her, she mm -hmm. was doing, I think it was a long dog sampler. It was just She's stunning. Sweetheart, nice and she, gal. she is nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Well, she gifted me this pattern. That was very sweet. Of her. It was. Uh, I mean, it was just, how, how nice mm -hmm. is that? So while Kathy was here, I went ahead and printed my sheet out where I list everything for myself. You know, I just put the picture on the paper and then I list everything. And then I had Kathy help me pick out the material. Mm -hmm. that I'll be using. It's really Because I had a couple of choices. I had this little scrap of Ada. It's, you know, that one you get from Michael's. It's printed. And it would be pretty because Michelle, who was sitting on the side of me, was stitching hers on a beautiful lilac fabric. It was just, oh my God. And then Susan stitched hers on a pretty pink or something. So I think this uh, I think fabric right here. Your... What do you think? Where's the name? Where's the name? I think it will go with your stuff. I'll give you a dollar if you can read that. Eighth of yard, 14 count. Linenator. Boy, that helps. Linenator. What is that word, though? You see? I don't know. It's a paint color. But anyway, so that's going to be something. So under I random acting. I think 14 count earth. Oh, it could be earth. Okay. It could be earth. But Very It's cool. a beautiful, not sissy paint, just a beautiful There's paint. There's more it's, yeah, you it's know, probably like crushed, pretty close. Cr crushed mm -hmm. quartz or something. Yeah. So, Susan, if you're watching, thank you so much. And, uh, Again from Susan, she had a friend who was cleaning out her stash 
<clears throat> so Susan, she gave Susan all these charts to bring. I hope I'm okay telling the story. But uh, anyway, so all the ladies there, and you know, my mom always raised me whenever, like you're in the line for food, you go to the last. Don't let everybody else get all they need. You know, you take everything left. No, uh, but <laughs> make sure everybody else gets what they want. Don't ever, you know, cut in line or anything. So I waited and waited. Well, she had brought them a couple of times, she had said. So everybody's pretty well picked That's over them. But look at one of the patterns I picked off that table. I've seen that one stitched. It's very pretty. The border on that is, could not be any yummier. Yeah. It's a Rosewood Manor inspiration. And even if you just did the motifs uh, in there, they're stunning. The baskets. Oh, my gosh. Even the center of the cartoon. I like the little yeah. house up on mm -hmm. a hill. I like I'm not in love with the bending over trees. I came from Louisiana running away from hurricanes. So seeing a bending over tree, <laughs> scary. not my thing. You know? <laughs> and over not my thing. So anyway, uh, Rosewood Manor, another one. That sounded so hicky. Not my thing. You ever seen that commercial? But anyway, uh, Rosewood Manor, another one I picked up was this Happy Halloween. It's cute. It's got all those little hats. But just the wording, she the stitching, the wording Happy there. Halloween and the border. Yeah. So, again, thank you, Susan, and thank you to Susan's friends who was yeah. sweet enough to pass them on. And last but certainly not least, I don't think. Now, I hope I'm okay to say it this way, but this was a pattern from Annie B's, who I bought a couple of other Annie B's. I like her work. And it's the frog motto, as ye sow, so shall ye reap. So, so shall ye rip. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and while I love the color she did, I'm probably going to mm -hmm. take them down. I yeah, said, I want to bring it up, bit. put Andy B and Bruno Gervais in a room and shake it up and come out with some colors, you know, kind of thing. But I thought that was darn. So those to me were random acts of kindness that I got. Now I'm going to go back because I didn't, I was supposed to show this last time and I didn't. I'm blessed to have moved to El Paso and found a neighbor next door that is just, she looks just like her. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> nicest woman you could ever want to meet mm -hmm. and crazy as a loon. But, um, uh, she went home for to uh, Two years. Wisconsin for you know Nine ever years. it was forever you know anyway but when she got back she brought me some gifts and all I didn't get her anything but well I didn't go anywhere but uh, <laughs> anyway, one of the things she brought me because that's so Molly what is was these a piece of a... seraphim linen yeah. it's thirty six count I said okay that's well, and after going that's to like crop, my favorite so and after going to the crop with all those ladies who were stitching linen around me they're like Molly you can do it you can do it yeah. I'm like, you know. it was just but too, look too how Molly. gorgeous yeah I can't it's stapled together yeah, so I can't I show it away. but uh thank you Kathy yeah, and then really the other cool. thing I'm probably supposed to pay her for these because no, I asked her to go no. asked her. but uh look what else she brought me if y'all remember she had done that uh Merry Christmas Merry Christmas uh, um it had uh, the round in the round with the wreath, and then it had the line of huck weaving, if you will, going through it. But anyway, aren't these so pretty? I feel like a cross stitcher or something. I mean, yeah. I feel like a but you can, professional. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so and that you. was from So and Save up in up in Racine, Wisconsin. Another store I'll never get to go. They have a whole bucket full of that stuff. Oh so, my gosh. Okay. Um, I did want to share. I do want to share. I shared him last time, but he's too darn cute to not share again. So Valerie at the Plaid Most. Hold on, you gotta see his feet. Yeah, his feet. <laughs> then she sent me. Look at those feet. She had. She will have these on her site. The Plaid Most Look at his little scissor holder, leprechaun. You know, is coming up. Um. So I did want to give her a gone. shout out too. He's absolutely gorgeous, and she did have some Uncle Sam's uh, on her site this morning. But she does. She is going to have leprechaun spools. Daughter. Husband carves them, and I don't know if she paints or he paints. I don't know, but they're so, just absolutely yeah, darling. very cute. And then um, the only thing I wanted to quickly show was I had purchased um, Mojo stitches, this beautiful bird, and also this beautiful bird, and this is by um, Quaint Rose Needle Arts. This one. The other one was Mojo Stitches, this one. But if you go to the Facebook page, Samplers Through Time, um, Sylvia Menzel Stecker, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, has a beautiful bird sampler, which is coming out in Nashville. I saw that. Isn't that? Oh. Mm -hmm. So you guys will have to call your local needle workshop. Um, she may have, I don't know if she's going to have this on at Etsy or what she says. 
It's going to be her first time at market. Uh, my design name is Running with Needles and Scissors, and she also put a floss to. Oh, I know she. Uh, she was in Germany for a while, I think. Oh, did she? Oh, yes. Yes, and she. You're right. Yeah, that's right. She tricked me because one time she had yeah. straight hair, and the next time she had this real cute little yeah. curly hair or something. So but it's the same that's way. her design. Let's see if I can get it. Big. It is beautiful. I saw yeah. her showing it the other day. Love Isn't that, that pretty? But it kind of and it kind of goes with the birds, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. I. Love. I, I love haven't birds. stitched them yet, but mm -hmm. you can see that one is Amelia's bird. We need to do a stitch along thing. I know. Like they, just does birds. A stitch along. Pick one of those birds. Yep. Yeah. Sorry but, for the glare, folks. I but I saw this new pattern. Spot. She showed mm -hmm. it on her floss too. It is beautiful. So that was something I wanted to show. And then mm -hmm. um, I've got my scissor blocks, but I'll do those last. Okay. Well, then right before last, I wish we had more to show you, but I just wanted to. Oh, I told Kathy we have to get together because I wanted to show that. Forget's gift to me yes. of that pattern. It's called Molly Sampler. That just, I want to cry. That just, that's too, that's too you nice. You can have your name on one. Just think 100 years from now. And from such a gifted chart creator. Yeah. You know, gifted designer. It's like, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, thank you, Bert. Yeah, I love you. Uh, but anyway, and then the other thing I forgot to mention last time is uh, Purple Paper Mountain, which Kathy mm -hmm. has talked about a couple of times. Um and they're on Etsy, Purple yes. Paper Mountain. Purple Paper Mountain. And what I did learn on uh, Etsy is there's a whole lot of shops that have the name Purple, uh, purple Mountain. Something. Purple oh, Mountain in there. She's Purple name, Paper but Mountain. But it's Purple Paper yeah. Mountain. Mm -hmm. you know? But she gifted us uh, one of the, someone won a, an assortment like this last week, but she also gifted Kathy yeah. and I these pretty uh she trans. has the most unusual. She has a huge assortment. Those I mean, uh, for my Advent house. That she had teeny, teeny, tiny trim uh -huh. that worked out perfect uh -huh. for that. I mean, to try to keep it in line with the size that you're, because that was about a 50 cent piece, I think is what we decided, my little squares. And this one right here, I said, ooh, it just yeah. looks like my fiesta, you know, like yeah. a fiesta. Just pretty. Yeah, and also thank you so much for that, but do take a minute and yeah, go to Purple Paper Mountain. Her. If you need some trim, mm -hmm. she's got some real pretty things. Okay, Miss Kathy. And then I'm going to, these are so cute. I they love are so these. cute. So besides the shamrock, my little scissor block, this is Mr. Shamrock. And there's his paperwork that I, but isn't he cute? Kathy, he is darling. Isn't he adorable? Oh, I ordered, the, oh go ahead. His little butt. <laughs> yeah, his little butt. Look at his little butt. I ordered a shamrock He's scissors so from a gal on Etsy. So I'll talk Sorry about that. that. I'm there. talking about an Irish pie. Uh, and then, um, so I have scissor block kits for sale, which you get the four designs. This particular one, I don't have the plaids anymore, but I have four shamrock designs, two of them that are on here. And then, that's um, so, pretty. so you get the block, the four pictures, and the felt for the bottom, and instructions, it's decoupage, yada, 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 tells you how to do it and how to prim it up a little bit. So that's um, St. Patty. Then, of course, we have St. Valentine's. I have St. Valentine's. This one I did a cascade of roses. And tucked in some charms and what have you. And the scissors are beautiful. Well, the scissors are love dove, love birds. So I got the little key up there. A brand or there's no, love birds love, on them. Love oh, birds I, on see. Them. I see. I see. You gotta have love birds in your Valentine. Valentine. Makes sense. Yeah. And the cascade of roses. And I just love how Kathy uses all of her little treasures charms. on there, just little things. Now this collected. one I can't. This is my favorite, but I can't. I, I can't add the artwork to that. You guys are going to have to go fish it out or buy it or whatever because it's licensed. But this is, but check this one out. See the pig on the side there holding the candy cane? Well, I have a little pig holding the candy cane up on the top. Little bells. Who doesn't have a pig with a candy and cane? I know. I mean, Isn't you know. it cute? And, and look then, at the chicken. And I've got a rooster on the back. Um, and I love your snow. Yeah, the snow was fun. It so, again, you can get the kit, just don't have pictures for this one. You're going to have to find your own pictures, what you want to do. But I just want, I want people to get creative with their tops and their pictures. There's plenty of stuff out there on the Internet, stuff you can buy. I I bet you there's stuff in your drawers or in, yep. your, cat, in your little boxes, yep. treasure boxes, things like that but I that just, you can find. Like people ask those. me, where do you find all your stuff? I, I look all year round. And we never stop looking. And what I love, and if I'm speaking out of tune, don't no, stop no. me. Uh, you may find some of this stuff. Look at those little shamrocks. You may find that at Hobby yeah. Lobby. You may yeah. find this 
the, yeah. the little piece of ribbon in your drawer or something. The trim he might be a treasure, right? I think that I, you find yeah on eBay I'll or find Etsy like or one something. Piece. So but the, the rest of this, don't be scared to uh, the barn mix. was a Christmas ornament. So it was a wood Christmas ornament. I got the barn for a buck and a half. You, you didn't know. cover your hole, did you? No. Oh, he drilled the, the hole. hole. He drilled the whole side on on uh -huh. the back of that one too. Uh huh. So you can have more room for fun stuff with having your hole in the back. But I'm yeah. telling you, sister that, blocks. That's if you good. are trying to get a hold of me to get one of these, Instagram me, message me. I can get it that way, but. I do have kits available, and then uh, and, uh, who knows what I'll come up with next. I that's love decorating because the sky's the limit. Oh my god! Well, I want to see the patriotic you know? one. You got yeah, the, I got uh, a patriotic one. And she mentioned Kathy mentioned this in our last floss too, but I'll mention it again. Kathy has a collection of vintage postcards. Yes, that is beyond belief. It is binders, binders, and look, I can't keep losing the camera. Yeah, uh, you know when Kathy sits here, I always tease her, but Kathy just look at the camera. Hard, isn't it? Me, see the problem? But yeah. her binders are like this thick, and it's just page after page, front and back, Old little postcards. you know, it's like baseball size mm -hmm. plastics or whatever mm -hmm. you call them, filled with a. I have one most postcard exquisite that's worth, postcard. Well, was worth six hundred dollars. That was before COVID. And let me tell you, so, one time she, Kathy brings them over, and she says, "Well, Molly, do you want to keep them and look through them?" <laughs> what if my house burned down? You can't leave those things here. I cannot be responsible. Definitely can't. Re well, I shouldn't say can't replace them. There's some people. There are some card places oh, out there. Can, but okay. that's where a lot of my inspiration comes from are my postcards. But looking through like a Victorian magazine or a Farm Feed magazine, um, the junk on top. Again, I look oh. all year round. Seed package flowers. Would Even be on um, that. and I apologize, but there's one lady that I'm gonna do one special for. She wanted sewing. Well, I have tons of sewing cards from no. back in the day. Button cards. Why I, wouldn't you do so? Yeah. So I can, and then you can buy the little sewing machine to set on top of it with a scissors nearby. Or those little mini spools. Of, well, yeah. we got to do a, you got to do a so sewing. So I have, as I told her, I, just let me get, I'm all caught up with orders. I only, uh, oh, one lady, one, she got a hold of me this past week and she was on a wait list when I went to Wisconsin with everything going on, but. So if you are interested in a scissor block, and I, you know, I would encourage you. You, you uh, need to do a sewing. Oh, yeah. I told we're going to show me, that next time. Yeah, I said, let me get through the orders for these that no. I promised, and then no. I will no. definitely get her some. And my paper that I use, I go and have them printed so that the decoupage doesn't run. Right. So if you mm. use your own printer, it's you can. Inject. And yeah. I have used them, and it, it doesn't run that bad, but it seems to fade a lot easier. But uh -huh. the decoupage is much better if you take it to a printer and I'm not a printer expert but some printers use a kind of ink that will run I mean that yeah. runs and some of the newer ones use a different kind of and ink they, that doesn't run yeah you know you have to really you have to really try there's but better to use laser it's a yeah. plastic emollient and it, there's they don't want definitely it. a minimum of three coats of decoupage mm -hmm. on here and then you're I, saying decoupage do you mean mod podge Would yeah that kind of mod stuff? podge okay. sorry okay. And then I do sand it down, and then I add the Tim Holtz ink mm -hmm. to ink it up. Although you can use, uh, you can also use um, shoe polish. I was so glad you. Really I was so glad when you found all that stuff. It was like fun watching. Kathy, I might ask you. This yeah. is a silly thing, but would you hand me that letter box behind yeah. you? Oh, I, I love that. Well, it's the goofiest thing you're ever going to see. You're going to think, well, who couldn't have thought of that? But the Fat Quarter Shop, which has been so generous, so cute. Um, Oh, do we have some prizes to give away? Yes. Anyone? Okay. Um, anyway, they remind us. This was the uh, stitch along, the mystery stitch along, or something that she did back so uh, cute. last year. Last Letters year. to Santa, and yep. in the one she did, you just had lines here instead of addresses. Right. Well, I went online yourself. and actually looked up Santa's address, you know, through the post office, and it literally is one two three Elk Road, the North Pole, Santa Claus. Uh, and it has its own zip code, but I didn't have room for that. But anyway, so I found this five dollar box. At uh, oh. Dollar Tree, and I just used scrapbook paper to cover the, you know, back up. Yeah, it's cardboard on the mm -hmm. back, and it had cork on the front, which was pretty. But so I used the that because the gray kind of picked it up. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna type on my printer in and out, you know, really as, cute, you know, like in a post office type looking yeah typewriter font that or is something. Adorable. So I could put Christmas cards in it next year, or a little plants or something or something. But I thought that was a cute little idea for a finish. Mm -hmm. For $5. You could put plants or for Halloween, you could put potion bottles or something. And I but, will uh, say, too, little finish idea. when you're finishing, even for like the uh, scissor holders, the dollar, what's the one we go to that we like? Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Dollar Quarter Tree. 
-hmm. Yeah, seems to have a little bit more of the oddball stuff. But I never stop looking, and I think Molly, mm -hmm. too, we're always looking to see what pieces we can maybe use that are I've heard people Pretty talk expensive. about their under the bed box of finishes or something. Oh, really? Like some people will say, oh, it's in my oh, under yeah, the bed box. box. My under the bed box is uh, frames and little pieces of metal or plaques or something that I bought from Dollar Tree. You know, they were only a dollar or yeah, two or five. Yeah, I got a but, whole uh, bed full yeah. of frames underneath, but yeah. that's okay. I have a couple of frames, that's but okay. uh, anyway. So, okay, guys. Yeah, we got gals. some giveaways. Oh, fine. Okay. I'm gonna stand up. Nobody. You know, I had a I mind. had a work last time oh, at. Okay, let me cover my thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, so we got a couple. Of, um, where's the uh, fat quarter shop? Hold on. Hold Somewhere on. Somewhere in this room. Back up the bus. Back up the bus. Somewhere in this room, we're gonna find it. Which I'm gonna describe it, and you're gonna just know what I'm talking about to begin with. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am gonna do um, my. I'm going to say my advertisement for Fat Quarter Shop. They don't need me helping them. They're the biggest thing going. <laughs> uh, but Kimberly Jolly and the team at Fat Quarter Shop, some of the most generous people, the donations that they give right. and the, what, very they, kind. what they help. and They're just very generous people. Yeah. But in addition to that, they're great designers and they have a huge assortment of fabrics and cross-stitch things. And, oh, my God, I just love <laughs> that store. And, of course, they're here in Texas and... They don't have a, I can't go in there. It's a no. web like, it's a web, good thing. <laughs> website only. Yeah, probably so. But anyway, some of the things Kimberly's team sent this week for us to share. And I, it's somewhere in here, and I wish I could just lay my hands on She did the little Valentine circle ornaments, like you put in a little tart or on the little circle thing. Oh. And they're just little Valentine motifs. Yep. It's a little booklet. That's one of the giveaways. Yeah. So use the word, uh, what, Valentine? you know, yeah. uh, to let us know. And you're going to see why I say Valentine in a minute. But, uh, so, Valentine is the booklet of the little ornament charms I bet. for uh, Valentine. I bet that's in that It's day. somewhere here. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, it's cute. It's cute. You'll love some it. Some small motifs that you yeah. can, yeah. You know, it's, you know mm -hmm. just cute. Like a little love letter or a little yeah. heart or, bird, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one, you're going to write, Be Mine. Mm -hmm. And this is, she calls it a, a Simply Sign Pattern Series. This happens to be number one, and the size on the, the finished size is five and three eighths by sixteen and seven eighths. So cu cute little sign, and the fact that it's a pattern series. What's coming next? You think Happy right. Easter or you know yeah. Saint Pat? I don't know what's coming next. I have no idea. But you can win the Be Mine. Now you won't get it before Valentine's Day because we're gonna you know announce the winners on our next fall too. Mm -hmm. But it'll be yours uh, if you win. <laughs> My next Valentine. Okay. And last but certainly not least, this is a pattern for stackables. This is the January one. She's, of course, got the uh, some more out since then, I believe. But this information, let's see. The finished size is 3 and 3 quarters by 12 inches. So that's cute for a little paddle or something. And then I think she actually even um, talked about there was a guy in Austin or something that was cutting the boards if you need them, if you don't find something Hobby oh, Lobby nice. or Dollar Tree. Or but Michael's there, too, you can use just the motifs, like the skates. I love just the tree. The tree. And the I hate snowflake. to tell you, I don't care if you're a gardener or a pumpkin lover or whatever, that bucket is yeah. worth its weight to me. Yeah. You know, really just cute. having that little bucket that you could really cute. do something with. But the Christmas trees and that snowflake, you know, we don't get a lot of ice and snow around here. It's usually gone by 10. Well, yeah, you can do. Yeah, I was, you know. <laughs> they but, close the schools and the city shuts down two days before. Yeah, so we get a stitch in <laughs> Because it's coming. But anyway, but I said those trees alone mm -hmm. could be, they're beautiful and blue, but I could see them in a hundred different other color arrangements. Yeah, but the, the snowflakes really are beautiful. Cute. The whole thing is dark. Yeah. But anyway, so put uh, January yeah. in that one. That one. Uh, so mm -hmm. January, Be Mine, and or Valentine. Valentine, yeah. And I'm so sorry little. I can't find that chart. It's yeah. cute. But again, my hat's off to uh, Kimberly Quarter. and mm -hmm. the Fat Quarter Shop team for, uh, for doing this for us, us and yep, creating these. Chance, uh, uh, these patterns are all, I think, uh, it's so Emma, mm -hmm. their in-house designs and all. So cute. cute. They're just always real cute. Just and cute. usually so on Ada. So yeah. I'm just saying. Oh, no. <laughs> you can on anything you want. Okay, gals and guys. I think. Mean, that's we covered it. it for now. Uh, I can't Happy say Happy President's that. Day. That's coming up. Oh, Happy yeah. Valentine's Day. Yeah, my husband's birthday is next weekend. Is yeah. it? Yeah. So, so yeah, and, and then we're, right. it's already starting to warm up a uh -huh. little bit here in El Paso. So, yeah. And Kathy, you know, we don't ever mention what floss tube number we're on. 
Oh, that's right. Yeah. We're, we're on number something. I and don't forget, that. you need to subscribe and like oh, and, and share. Have, and please like and share. It's, and hit the bell or whatever the heck you guys all do out there. I And, you know, I get mushy when I get to this part now, but I'm telling you those comments y'all write, oh, yeah. even though we're not, I'm, Kathy is much better than me on answering them all. Um, but, man, those are some of the nicest and then I'll comments also I've ever read in my life. Watch it again yeah. and get stuff in the description of what we mm -hmm. held up and... Okay. And then Molly will do hers and what have you. So. Okay. Now, by the next, today is the 12th. We'll do another yeah. one in the next, in the next couple weeks. of weeks or so. Mm -hmm. One of the things I'd like, I don't know if y'all will be interested in that or whatever, but I will be watching every video I can find and every Facebook page I can find and every Instagram I can find on what's coming out at market. Oh, so I, I may be putting together my favorite, you know. Well, Brenda Gervais has got some really cute mm -hmm. thing and blackbirds eye. and yeah. one of the things i saw so, uh is it christine shannon uh, somebody that does real cute bright charts all. anyway she's doing a morning glory well my grandfather that one uh, used to be one of his things morning glory. glory you know to everybody he'd say you know and i that was another funny thing i said i looked up morning glories and i found some patterns from long ago long ago but i think morning glories are going to be a thing soon so. i know uh stash has word. been a topic um stash Stash. Okay. Should people continue to buy their stash? And I, if you all knew how many bins of stash, but I worked at a needle workshop for 12 years. You don't have to come up with excuses. I know. Brenda of uh, Brenda yeah. and the serial starter, Brenda and Laura. We're talking about stash. We're talking about stash, and I subscribe to her theory, mm -hmm. if I'm understanding it right. Whether you collect art for your home, or you buy jewelry that you'll never wear, or you have yeah. a closet full of shoes you couldn't possibly wear or purses, twice, or, or clutches, purses, whatever your thing is that brings you joy, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And as Laura said, you know, the old saying about collecting is one hobby and actually stitching is another is hobby. Another. Well, I like both of them. Yeah. So I, I it's nice to be able to go back when you mm -hmm. have, a, you know, when you have some, I don't want to say free time to pull out a stitch pattern. It's nice to go back and think, oh, yeah, I, want, I really want it. Or you see it again on Instagram or Facebook, and you're like, I have that. And, you it's know, nice. on my stash, Kathy, mm -hmm. when I went through it, we're just rambling here, but uh, I don't, ha out of the things that I have collected for, for the, you know, year now, mm -hmm. it's been almost a year. Um, well, I guess it's been a year since I've started stitching. Um, there is only probably two patterns in the whole kit and caboodle, whether it's free ones I've downloaded or patterns I've bought. Or things that have been given to. There's probably only two patterns I'm thinking, nah. Probably won't do. Yeah, probably never get to that. Yeah. But the rest of them, here's yeah. hoping. <laughs> yeah. So I'm okay with it too. I am. That's what I said. I'm absolutely the joy okay of, with it. It's just like a picture on the wall to me yeah. or a collector's table edition. Obviously, magazine everyone needs to live within their means, but to me, well, if that's it's a, a great opportunity mm -hmm. to be with friends or mm -hmm. get out in the world. And I know all of us have gone through some hardships and hard times and family. And, mm -hmm. Um, to get to know you're going to go to a needlework store or stitch with a group and you get motivated or excited. Uh -huh. I think your body lets loose some, like, endorphins. Yeah, and I think that keeps you alive longer so you can get this stuff done. <laughs> well, that's, I did read one time where a psychologist thinking, was talking about a, people who collect hobby supplies and all. Yeah. As the sable stitchers, yeah. say beyond life expectancy, that is their quest for immortality. You know, they, yeah. they're thinking of themselves as immortal. So and when like, you're okay shopping and your that. husband, you can just tell them you're releasing in, endorphins. And oh, yeah, I'm happy. So anyway, on that <laughs> note, good to see y'all again and yep. visit with you. Please do like, share, subscribe. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you for watching. And yes, the comments uh, are wonderful. Keep them coming. Anything y'all want or need from us to show or something, yep. uh, please let us know. And uh, Diary of a Sampler Lover is where I live. Yeah, on Instagram. On Instagram, uh -huh. Molly's Molly. D W N. Yeah, Molly D W E N. Mm -hmm. And I did read several posts from. I think we went over this last time. And I am hearing from more and more and more people. They're they're scammers out there. Oh. They're saying hi, you won something, or hey, this is Molly, or something. No, it's I only have one Instagram channel. It's Molly D W N. Mine is uh, public, so I've got more scammer potentials and all. But uh, anyway, yeah. be careful out there. There are yeah. people who are trying to take advantage. We won't reach. We won't reach out to you. We We've never asked you for mailing or send yeah. us something. Or we never so, ask for anything. Not going to so. do that. So. Yeah. That yeah. corner shop's been wonderful, as well as some other stitchers have been wonderful. Yeah. So we definitely want to share the wealth. Right. Uh, yeah, and we're happy to do that. So. When I say we'll never ask, for, we'll ask for your address. But yes. We'll ask you to email us. 
and we'll make sure we'll you have some personal conversation yeah. before so we, we don't want to publish yeah. anything. Okay, on okay. that note, happy Valentine's happy Day. Valentine's if I don't Day. see it between then, yep. all and, right. Uh, look forward Catch to seeing you again. Like Couple weeks. Now I got to find my mouse and figure out how to turn this off. <laughs> Hold on, just a second. Stop recording. <laughs>